Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. You know, take what resonates and re leave the rest. You know, some of it may resonate, some of it may not, whatever. Um, the timing is still fluid as well. I'm kind of excited to do this reading because my Jupiter is in Aquarius. So, and we're all about the new Jupiter energy. So, this is this is great. So, I would suggest watching your, your Jupiter reading, wherever the Jupiter is in your chart. Um, so, anyway, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate the winter solstice, Happy Winter Solstice. Let's get started. We're going to start right here for Aquarius. Well, what do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and in this case, Jupiter. Or Saturn, even. You might want to watch where your Saturn is at as well. Because we have the uh, Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, and that's a very prominent energy that is coming in. So you might want to watch those readings. So what do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? Triumph, victory, success. This is the chariot card. This is being in control, being the boss. You're in the driver's seat, right? You're in the driver's seat. There's nobody stopping you from being successful. All right? You will be successful in whatever you do. All right? This is you moving forward very, very fast, having a lot of willpower, discipline, mental strength. You are determined to succeed, and you will. So this is a very successful energy. It's also a card of transformation, okay? I feel like your hard work is paying off. You may be taking a journey. You could be moving. You may be planning a move with that uh, chariot card. Um, whatever's happening, you're moving in a forward direction with oomph. Nobody can stop you. That's an unstoppable energy, okay? You're in control, and that's the way it is. So... We will take those. I do believe that your life is going to change. We got five cards here. Fives are about change. Okay? Expect the unexpected. Vine. Seek out information that will help you. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Chair filled, someone is entering your life. Pineapple, reconciliation. Grapes, time to go out and have some fun. Now, when people see reconciliation, they always think it's with a lover. Doesn't have to be. Reconciliation could be with an estranged child, could be with a parent, could be with a friend. Could be with a soulmate. Could be with anybody. Okay, reconciliation is a word. It doesn't mean that it has to be with an ex. Okay, so there is going to be some sort of, sort of reconciliation. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about timing. These readings can play out in the future. Okay, this is the energy that is happening right happening right now. Is bringing these energies in. Okay. So keep that in mind. I, there is going to be a reconciliation, but it could be it could be somebody from a past life. When someone new is entering your life, okay, it could be somebody from a past life. It could be somebody that you were friends with in the past. I don't know what it is, but someone new is entering your life. You're going to be you're going to be uh, maybe deepening a friendship with somebody. This is somebody of the same sex. It says the same sex. So it could be a girlfriend, you know, one of your buddies, you know, whatever. Um, you could be you could be meeting a new friend. Um, you do need to seek out information this week and you do need to go out and have some fun. You know, even if uh, you're going outside, you're going in nature, you know. If you're stuck in a house, go outside, go do something. And even if it's getting together with friends, I know we have this COVID thing going on, but do whatever you got to do. I mean, uh, maybe you go out by yourself. I don't know. Whatever you got to do. Maybe it's in the future. It's interesting because I brought up the future. I feel, I mean, with the solar eclipse energy, 
that we just had can go anywhere for the next six months, you know? Either way, it is time for you to have fun. I do see you taking a journey as well, so that you could be planning travel. Maybe it's time to plan some travel and get out there and have some fun. And this is seeking out information that will help you. When you make plans, you have to seek out information. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Maybe you need to plan for the future. You know, what is going to make you happy? Um, so what do we have for Aquarius? Someone new. Somebody could be coming in really, really, really fast. Say you're single. You're, or even if you're not, I mean, I'm just saying, this is this is an entrance of some sort. You could be making an entrance. Somebody could making an, be making an entrance into your life. You could be dealing with a cancer. It doesn't have to be. Um, whatever's happening, there's very fast movement. Nine of Wands reversed. Uh, fearful you know that's fearful that's that's expecting trouble it's refusing to compromise it's it's avoiding challenge you know you may have some hard feelings you may be angry about what everything that life has thrown for you thrown at you at this time you may be distrustful you know may have your guard up maybe you need to let your guard down a little bit five of pentacles reversed this is moving in a new direction leaving behind some sort of trouble so you're moving somewhere, or you're moving, you're leaving something behind. Maybe you're leaving behind hard feelings because the Nine of Wands reversed is hard feelings. The Five of Pentacles is abandonment. There's been some sort of abandonment. There's been some sort of neglect. You may have been experiencing some hard times. This is light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. This is a turning point. You are about to see a turning point. Your life is about to change. It's about, and it is going to change for the better. With the, with the Chariot card and the Six of Swords, you're headed to a much better place where there's peace, there's serenity, there's no, there's no turbulence. You're leaving the turbulence. You're leaving the battle behind. I think you've been deal, dealing with some sort of um, challenges with that Nine of Wands reversed. I feel like you've been, maybe you've been felt, felt like cast out or a social outcast or you've been neglected or gaslighted or whatever. Whatever's happening, this is your turning point. You are now taking the lead. You are now in the driver's seat. You're now the boss. There's no stopping you from success. Put it that way. So you are, you're, you're taking a new approach and it starts this week. Seeing very clearly, there's no more confusion. Making a clear choice, you know what you need to do. You're, there's no confusion. I, I feel like there's been some sort of uh, neglect, you know, with the Five of Pentacles, you know, ghosting or something like that. Somebody's been left behind. You know, and now they've they're fearful. They're fearful of trusting. There's distrust. But I don't trust. But and, and I feel like you've been staying put in a situation, but now you see very, very, very clearly. There's no more confusion. You know, you know. Temperance reverse. There's frustrations here. There's some sort of frustrations. I feel like there's been some sort of imbalance. I feel like um you know that something doesn't feel right. You, you've you been in a situation where something is off. And I feel like maybe it's unhealthy. Maybe it's an unhealthy relationship or an unhealthy partnership or an unhealthy place. Put it that way. You know, there's been an imbalance. You may have been overdoing it. You may have been unable to uh, cooperate or blend to create harmony in some sort of partnership. There's been a lack of harmony, right? There has. There has. And I feel like you've been unclear as to what you were supposed to do or what choice you should make. If you have been unclear, that's over. Okay, you're going to get the clarity that you need. You're going to you're going to make the choice that you need to make. Okay? Um somebody could be coming back around. I don't know if this person has left. Maybe they're coming back around or you're moving. There's moving here. It's either moving away or moving back. Whatever that means. Um but the temperance reversed is um uh, unbalance something is off there's a lack of harmony there you could have been wasting some time 
lack of evolution, unable to accept. Somebody's been unable to accept something, but now they see clearly. They've been unable to see. Now they see. They, they know that it's time to go. Six of Swords is it's time to go. It's time to leave behind this battle, whatever it is. Because the Nine of Wands, is that's a warrior who's had to fight. It's been a constant battle. It's been a constant fight. You know? Maybe you're giving up. It's like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I just want peace. I want peace. I, there's overwhelmed energy with the Nine of Wands reversed. You know, you may you may be on the lookout expecting trouble from somebody, you know, at all times. And you just want to move away from that trouble. It's like, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. So I feel like that's what's happening. I feel like you're either you're moving away or somebody else is moving away. They're moving away from a unbalanced situation where there's no peace and harmony. You know, it's like I see clearly what I have to do. So, yeah. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles reverse and the and the uh, Eight of Wands reverse. So this is a loss of something. Uh, it is. It's it's and it is giving up. It's like giving up on something that isn't stable and it could be unplanned. You know, you didn't plan for this to happen, but it's not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. So this is a stop. It's like putting a stop to it. It's like I'm not going to give it my energy anymore. So I think that you are. It's like you're realizing something. This is like a realization. Um, that wherever you're at, it doesn't lead to any long-term permanent success. This is bad news. So there could be some bad news. Now there's, there's something... Uh, I don't know if there's some addictions here. You could be dealing, there could be some codependency, you know, but this is stop. It is. It's it's just putting a stop to it. Maybe it's stopping communication. It could be blocking communication. It is, uh, I feel like it's saying no. No, no, because the Ace of Pentacles reverses a no. No, stop. I'm not doing this anymore. So you may be, you may be frustrated this week or you may be give it, telling somebody no, stop. My mind is made up. You're definitely making a choice, okay? And I think you're leaving something behind. You have a new contract. You have a new opportunity here. This is your choice. That's your choice. It's always a choice between two when you use the lover's card and with the seven of cups. You got multiple choices. But anyway, the lover's card is, uh, it's like Cupid bringing two people together. You may be moving towards somebody that is well suited for you and maybe you don't even know it. Maybe the universe is moving you in this new, di new direction for a reason. I mean, that lover's card is an unexpected choice in love, okay? So somebody maybe getting that this week could happen in the next six months. You notice that's a six, and I happen to mention six months. We have a six here as well. I do feel like you're getting your life back on track. It's like you've had some sort of spiritual awakening. It's a spiritual wake-up call, and you want balance and harmony in your life. And where you're at, there isn't any. So I feel like you are making a choice in regards to your own destiny, you're taking the high road, right? You're taking the high road. You you have another opportunity. You know that you have another, another opportunity. If you don't know it, I'm here to tell you that you do. So you're making a major choice. And this is about a contract. I feel like you, you're headed towards healing. You're, this is headed towards a love. And this is a healing love. Headed towards a healing love. Which leads to victory and success. Some of you are moving for sure. Because this is moving and this is moving. So there's moving here. Taking a journey, traveling. If, you're, if you are traveling, you could meet somebody. And I know there's not a lot of travel in some places, but in some places there is. I feel like there, there could be a... a, a, a 
well, I'm going to just say it, a sexual connection. Maybe there's you're headed towards a new sexual connection. Somebody that you feel very familiar with, you know, a soulmate, somebody that you feel alignment with, somebody that you have shared values with. And that's what you want, right? So I feel like this week you are becoming clear of what you're looking for. Becoming clear of a decision. I feel like you've been back and forth on. This is like a roller coaster. You've been on this roller coaster ride. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I, should I follow my heart? Or should I stay with this? I don't know. It feels like it's a person. Should I stay in this predicament? You know, you've been back and forth. You've been on that roller coaster ride. This week you get the clarity. The confusion goes away. And I feel like you've been, you know, with the nine of wands reverse, you've been in a place of... Um, protection, you know, you've been wanting to protect yourself, you know, you didn't want to deal with the challenge of making this choice, but now it's at the forefront, it's like, you know what, I'm strong, I want success, I want to have it all, I'm taking, I'm doing what I got to do, I'm let, I'm replacing fear with faith, and I'm moving forward, so I feel like this is a week where you are in the driver's seat, and there is nobody going to hold you back, and I feel like there is somebody that may try to stop you, too. It's almost like they may try, they try to stop you, and you may say, No, my mind is made up. I'm not. I'm not interested. I know that I have something better. You may, you may feel it. You may feel it. And I feel like, it's, and I think I said it in one of my dailies. I don't remember which one. It feels like as soon as you make that decision, it's like you run into somebody that you are in alignment with. And this, and it doesn't have to be a lover, but I feel for a lot of you it is. I feel like this, I mean, you think this is Cupid's arrow. Okay? That's Cupid's arrow bringing two people together. It's, it is. And these people have a lot in common, right? They see eye to eye. It's like when, it's, this is like a love at first sight kind of thing. You know, it's like, this is the one. This is the one. But it's after you take that trip. You know, it's after you take that trip. It's after you make that move. You know, that's 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 moving. Okay, it's moving from a place. That thing will... There we go. So that's moving. It's leaving something troublesome behind to get to that better place. It's You have to make that move. You have to make that move. So once you make that move, and this was right here, you run into something very compatible. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So Aquarius, I feel like you are headed towards a perfect union, however it resonates with you. But it comes after you face your fears and you accept that you're going to have to deal with the challenge of saying no to whoever it is that you got to say no to. Good luck.